Howdy guys, if you're ever wondering how they come up with these cool aerial photos for magazine covers, we're going to go take one Bravo Charlie downtown Chicago and show you how they do it. One Bravo Charlie's first photo shoot. Well guys, we got John back with us. Hi. We're on the way to go do a photo, uh, aerial photo shoot with One Bravo Charlie, downtown Chicago. Our photo plane is the Cessna 170 up here. And every flight student that I had in the Chicagoland area, the first thing you would teach them before you'd set them loose on the private was how to get through the 88-290 corridor to fly the lakefront because you knew the first thing we were going to do is take the girlfriend out on the lake. Yeah, which is funny because as a controller, I have done this quite a bit. But as a um, pilot, I have never done this. And November 771 Bravo Charlie holding short runway 2, so I'm ready for departure east eastbound. Number 1 Bravo Charlie Tower, hold short runway 2. 771 Bravo Charlie, hold short. Number 771 Bravo Charlie Tower, runway 27, clear for takeoff, wind 2706, east departure approved. 771 Bravo Charlie, clear for takeoff, he's bound, thanks. 1 Bravo Charlie, the Cessna heads making a left turn and departure into the runway. They're also going eastbound, just look out for them. Hey, roger that, we're following them out. Well, no better time than to keep them in sight now, That's I right. reckon. So there he is, midfield down one. Alrighty. Okay, I'm watching the engine. It's... Here we go. Bottles coming up. All green. Mixture's full forward. Good to go. Release the brakes. Ease the throttles in. Airspeed's alive. Good fuel flows. 60. All green. 70. 80. Eight. Here, coming up. All right, let's see if we can find our friend. Hey guys, for reference, how's this position for one Bravo Charlie? On the altitude, position is very good. You can come close the distance to about a third of that. Okay, we're going to close about a third. All right, now I'll hold right there. That's perfect. And then uh, we'll adjust accordingly. Roger that. Kevin's got you. All right, I'm just going to be doing nothing but looking for traffic now, Kevin. Keep your eye on his strut. And it's one thing to fly in formation, but it's another thing to fly in formation in slow flight. In a complete dissimilar airplane, right. you know. Like you said, you wanted to go up and do some slow flight last week. Now I'm like, <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Now we, now we, now we did it. Yeah. If you're at a normal speed, this would be a piece of cake. Once we get to the United Center, which is that big building, that big white building just to the north of 88. Yeah. That's the United Center. So the plan is he's going to make a left turn, and you're just going to follow him on his uh, right strut. Less than one mile. And we're going to fly over the city, at the west side of the city, and then we're going to come around. We're going to turn south, and we're going to head to Navy Pier. Thanks for coming with, John. I can't imagine doing this by myself. I wouldn't want to do it. Holy I, moly. I'm having a good time though. It reminds me of flight instructing. I just rubberneck. This is just a lot going on here. You're gonna be tired when this flight's over. Yeah. That's a good that's a very good position. Traffic and uh right there it's perfect. 
Say altitude okay. zero miles. We're gonna start our turn in about uh, two miles. Roger that. Yeah. We got you to say we're at your uh, eight o'clock behind. You. Go ahead and make that turn south from there and pull the speed back, and we'll pass you here in a little bit, and we'll pass you on the left. Roger that. Head toward the end of the pier, and you'll pass us to the left. Go ahead. Hey, go ahead and slide on that uh, breakwater. What? Uh, the breakwater. You're talking right next to the shore. Yeah, a little lighthouse thing out there. Go ahead and fly right over the top of that. Oh, Roger that. Roger that. All right, if you can pull up, um, pull the speed back on your plane a little bit, and we're going to pull up in front of you. We're on your left side, and the ones we're in front, you go ahead and uh, switch over. We'll take lead, and you guys follow us, okay? Okay, Roger that. We'll slow up a bit. All right, you doing good? Yep, that's a good altitude as far as the angle. Go ahead and slide forward about 20 feet, about 10 feet to the right. Okay, 10 feet to the right, 20 feet closer. All right, there, it's perfect. Pick up my speed a little bit, sorry about that. It's okay. Up 20. Up 20, Roger. You guys are doing great. Kevin's starting to sweat a little bit. Hard work. It is, I'm glad I'm not flying. Job a little bit. Perfect, oh my God, it's gonna be good. I can see a shutter, that's how close we are. I can see the shutter opening and closing on that camera. Wow. That position right there is perfect. Could actually come about uh, 20 feet forward. 20 forward. And it's like, how you're Passing controlling that, I have no idea. Stay altitude. Doing great. Awesome. All right, one more orbit. Okay. Then one more after that, and then one more after that. I'm gonna need a sandwich pretty soon. Jimmy John's, they deliver. <laughs> Freaky fast, unlike a 170. <laughs> you know what Ooh, I mean? Hope you like bumpy video. <laughs> I think people can start to appreciate it when they see what goes on at Turbulence trying to do this formation. <laughs> you guys are doing great with that formation. We're going to do one more loop. I'm going to try to get some good video. And then we're going to go back to the north and do a long line shot again like uh, with the first one we did. Okay, roger that. We're ready for another loop. Oh, man. Yeah, you got to be tired. You know, you you finally get the speed set and you get the interval right, and then when you start turning, yeah, we're on the gone. outside of the turn. Yeah. I gotta speed up, and then when I get into it, I gotta slow back down, and I just don't have a lot of wiggle room. Thank goodness we did get the VGs though. Okay, we're gonna head truck north for a bit, and then we're gonna do that straight line to the south. Uh, stay in that position. I'll be doing uh, still the video. Okay, we're gonna head straight north. Okay, we're gonna do one more pass here, and then we're uh, coordinating with approach to do a uh, low pass of either O'Hare or Midway after this uh, orbit. All right, that sounds great. Am <laughs> I glad I'm not sitting in your seat? Okay, we're gonna hold the straight line to the south, right there. We can go up about 10 feet. That'd be great. There, stop, perfect. Doing great, Kevin. No traffic, engine instruments in the green. 
Feels good. Downtown, we're going to run up the shore, and they're going to vector us for uh, pass on 27 right. Okay, Roger that. You are lead right now. I want you to fly on the uh, on the runway, on the left edge of the runway, and we're going to follow behind you. Okay. Okay. Roger that. Getting Sherry down here. Just a typical day on approach for Chicago O'Hare in a 310. God, it's huge. You can slide left about half a wingspan. Roger that. Looks good. Right there. All right, you want your props at 25? Uh, not yet. I'll just okay. wait till I go forward. I don't want to change anything right now during the photo run. Smart. I got speed and altitude and stuff pretty well addressed. Look at all the planes stacked up, just parked. Amazing. Throttle jockeying. Oh, get the tower. Traffic, five o'clock. Wave at them, they can probably see you. Climbing out. There you're climbing out. Climbing out. Guys, we're going to climb up to uh, 1800. 1800 westbound. All right, that was a challenge, but it turned out good. They got some stills and video for you chasing with the runway. Uh, departure says uh, straight out to go to 18, and then they're going to give us flight following back to Aurora. We got a couple of shots there. Perfect, thanks. Aurora Tower, Cessna 2954 Delta flight at 2, request right. low approach. That's a 54 Delta flight, runway 27, low approach is approved. Or you're clear for low approach. Wind three sphere zero at one four, gust one eight, and what do you want to do on the go? Two seven low approach approved on the on the go. We're gonna break off some two separate flights. Launch at five Papa Juliet, number two, following uh, flight of two on short final runway two seven. You are clear to land. Wind two nine zero one three, gust one eight. We're gonna land two seven behind the flight, Papa Juliet. Wave to the tower. I'll wave you fly. Huh. Altitude, zero, mile. Tower 771 Bravo Charlie is on the go. I'd like to stay in the pattern for a full stop. Number one, Bravo Charlie, eight front of left close traffic. Roger that, left close traffic, one Bravo Charlie. All right, everything is set. Coming in. Gas on the mains, undercarriage down three green. Mixtures rich, props to go, seatbelt children harnesses. Job, Kevin. Thanks. I would not want to do that. Yeah, my back's actually a little sore now. I bet. Man, I hope some of that footage turned out. I hope some of the <laughs> stills from that plane turned out. I hope uh, all I, four of these cameras got some cool stuff. I hope his video stuff is cool. I think it's going to be a great video. Yeah. 
Well, guys, thanks for riding along. We'll have some uh, cool photos, some magazine articles coming out. Jamie and I are going to be doing a bunch of fun trips coming up here soon. We don't know exactly what. Still waiting to see as uh, the country and the world opens back up. But thanks for all the support, and talk to you guys soon. Bye. So, Tako, what do you think of the airplane? It, it's better than a masterpiece or a Better than a masterpiece? What do you think, Eli? Very good. Better than any, it's better than anything in the world. Best airplane ever? It's the most beautiful airplane I think in the whole entire. Whoever painted that is the best painter. Oh, wow. Best yeah. painter.